Doctor, I could use some help, man. I can't deal with no frozen bird, Doctor. Rhythm master, make me stronger. Rhythm master, help me out, Doctor. and our guest Hollywood producer Byron Allen. And before we left uh, for the traffic report, uh, Jim mentioned a, a couple of things, and I'm going to throw in the third one. He mentioned the coalition politics, group economics, and also the third one I want to mention, because now that you're stepping out like this, Byron, is it going to concern you that people see you now uh, as a progressive brother and, and you know, there's just so many groups uh, across the country who want to do things but lack the capital and they'll, they'll come to put basically just put the, the 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 bag the bag on you just like you know stevie's another one everybody calls him whenever there's something they, they need they feel they need for the community needs to be done so does that concern you any of those and i'll let you answer those three questions i don't really i don't have any concerns i mean i i feel like groups should come together and and the think tanks should kick in the action needs to take place but I believe in, in numbers and uh, power in numbers. Uh, we have a group. It's called Black America. I can't imagine anybody in Black America thinking that these numbers are acceptable. Thinking that this situation is survivable. Uh, so we have a large constituency. Uh, the economics, yes, we have got to put our dollars to work for us so we can employ ourselves to address the lack of employment. There's that's a big big issue. Uh, I think what you will see is that there's more than enough capital in the uh, in the community to do the things that we're doing, to file lawsuits, to stop doing business with an AT&T, uh, to have our politicians insist that, you know, Randall Stevenson of AT&T and the board of AT&T sit down with a Nomi King, who was the brilliant, beautiful sister who brought that forward, uh, that information forward, very brave, to sit down with myself, sit down and, and, and do business with us. That's easy. Uh, we just have to direct our focus in the correct way. The greatest trade deficit in America is the trade deficit between corporate America and black America. See, you have to look at how much money you're spending with Coca-Cola and ask, is Coca-Cola really doing business with us? And once again, I've been on the phone with you almost an hour and a half, and guess what? I haven't heard one Coca-Cola commercial. You have to ask yourself, is McDonald's doing business with us? There are a lot of corporations we spend billions with. We spend billions that don't spend money with us. So as you go through that process, you will start to correct it, and then that money will start to come our way. We will, tr we will fix the trade deficit between corporate America and black America, that will address the jobs in our community. That will address the lack of, you know, the lack of real estate ownership in our community. That will address the lack of education in our community. So all of this comes into play. But this is by, de by design. We must remember everybody listening to this needs to Google Jim Crow. And by the way, President Obama, that's another thing you can do. If you have families living in zip codes that are at or below the poverty line, you need to make the Internet absolutely free. Because if we don't have access to broadband Internet, we're going to fall further behind than we already are. So if it's a community that's in the poverty zone, Internet needs to be free. So what I would say is that we will go through it section by section and correct these deficits, and then you will start to see a correction in, in our lives and our lifestyle. Yeah, I got I, you, the personal part. Uh, I want you to address because now you, you people in Hollywood will see that hey, he's a champion of black folks. Are you uh, a concern? Some blowback? They say, well, we're not, we're not, we're not going to deal with Byron Allen now because he's he's going to have the Panthers up here the, at the next meeting or his next show, his next production meeting, or uh, our jobs are being a concern now because he's concerned about black folks. Are you are, are you con are you concerned about that? No, I'm not, because at the end of the day, you know, I'm for America. And yes, I am very much for black America. This is a crisis. You can't have situations like Baltimore and, and all over the country. It is ridiculous to act like this isn't an American problem. This is an American problem. 
I'm talking about making America stronger. Look, we must remember as Americans, we are only 327 million people out of 7 billion people on this planet. There aren't enough resources to go around to sustain a population of 7 billion people. We are not competitive. We're falling behind. China has 200 million kids in college. Two-thirds of our nation, two-thirds of our population is in college over there. We need all intellectual capital bringing their A game so we can compete globally. So we don't look up 20, 30 years, and it's not just black people living in the doldrums. It's most of America living in the doldrums. We are in a state of emergency. We are not competitive. We need everybody bringing their A game. We need to position everyone to succeed. We need to position everyone to be able to live their fullest potential. That's what's important. I'm having something greater than a black conversation. I'm having a human conversation. I'm having an American conversation. And that's for the greater good for everyone on this planet. All right. 800-450-7876. Pardon me. Sarah's been holding for a while in South Carolina on line six. Sarah, do you have a question for Byron? First of all, I want to say thank you, brother, because what you're doing takes a lot of courage. So when I sit down, when I sit down today to do my prayer, I'm going to include you in it so that you can have continuous wisdom, knowledge, understanding, strength, and courage. And I want to say, I don't know, we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. We have to take this fight to our God and then... We, and we have to get that strength and courage, and we got to bring it down to business. This is all about business. And, Byron, I am with you 100%, brother. This is common sense. This is nothing but common sense. People don't have common sense these days. I mean, common sense is like wealth, and, brother, you have all the wealth you need. So what I want to tell you is stay strong, continue the good fight, and believe me, most of the people are with you, more for you, than against you. So stay strong, my brother. Thank you. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. You know something? She she brings up a great point. You know, man, it's so funny. My grandmother would always say to me every day, boy, that's just common sense. And I was like, grandmother, common sense. And thank you so much. You know what? We can go to the whitehouse.org and we can create a petition. And when enough black folks get on that petition, they can't ignore it. There's, you can do a petition at WhiteHouse.org and make it very clear. We're talking to you loud and clearly. See, what happens is white America and white controlled media has a way of squashing our voices and, not, and acting like we're not saying what we're saying. White America has a way of saying we don't want to have the economic inclusion conversation as it relates to black America. But we now have to move the conversation along and bring it to the White House. And we also have to say to the Democratic Party, you're not going to have our vote. You're not going to get inside the White House until you deal with our crisis. Now, we showed up and we put President Barack Obama in that White House, and we can decide who will be the next one. Mathematically, it is impossible to get into the White House without the young American vote, the Latino vote, and the black vote. You cannot get there mathematically. The vote in the black community has huge power. You can tell the Democratic Party right now, or the Republican Party, you can earn my vote, but this time you must earn it. Tell me what you're going to do for black America. Tell me now. We're going to step aside, Byron. Hang on. When we come back, I want you to talk about the media. I got a tweet. Somebody wanted to know, how can we uh, get more voices in the media? Because if that's your area of expertise, how can we uh, uh, get ourselves more involved? Because, as you know, there's a limited amount of channels that we have, whether it be radio, TV, or cable. Folks, what are your, what are your